Hello dear friends. I am Durga Shirsagar, Assistant Professor in, in English, Sri Ganesh Mahavidyalaya, Navargaon. Today, we will learn the poem entitled The Lotus, written, written by Turudat. So let us talk about the poem. Friends, Torudat is an uh, Indian poetess, Indian uh, poet, Indian writer, who wrote two novels and many poets, many poems. Sorry, uh, you can see the image, the photo of Torudat over here. Let us talk about the poetess. Uh, as far as Torudat is concerned. She is one of the famous Indo-Anglian poets. What is mean by Indo-Anglian? So the friends, Indo means Indian, who is born in, in India. And Anglian, Anglian means uh, English, born in India and brought up in other countries foreign countries, especially where the English is, the language English is spoken. It's called Indo-Anglian poet. That is why it is called Indo-Anglian. So born in India and brought up in other countries. The next one is, uh, her family converted to Christianity in 1862. As, as we come to know, the surname Dutt is considered is from the Hindu family but is what her family is converted into Christianity the Christian religion has been accepted by her family in 1862 that is the story behind uh, what we call uh, her language or we can call the poetess has brought up in other countries and learnt in other countries, accepted, imitated, imitated the or literature, read the literature and started to write in English. The next thing about her is she never lost in touch with uh, Hindu religion. Though she brought up in other countries like French, like uh, um, England, but she didn't lose the touch with the Hindu religion. She was connected with Hindu religion and she was much inspired by Hindu mythology. Most of the poems of the poetess have an Indian theme and Indian background. There are so many poems written by Torudat and most of the poems by Torudat have the Indian theme, Indian background is there. Indian mythology uh, has been highlighted in her poem. She wrote a poem on Sita, she wrote a poem on Lotus here. So Indian myth is there, Indian theme is there in uh, so many poems by uh, Torudat. Uh, as far as uh, the poet is concerned, she was the first Indian woman poet to write in English. Uh, this is the very uh, great uh, thing. This is the very, um, what you call the uh, craziest thing that uh, she was the first Indian woman poet who wrote in English, the, the Indian one. She is often referred to as uh, kids of Indo-English literature. Now, this kids of Indo-English literature, it means there was a poet called John Kitts. Now, there is a similarity in between John Kitts and uh, Torudat. John Kitts, he died at the age of uh, 24 or 25, early his younghood. And in the, the, the same story uh, goes for Torudat. She also died at the age of 21. He was also a poet and as far as Torudat is concerned, she was also a poet, known as a poet. 
so that is why this similarity is concerned by taking this both similarities it is often referred as kits of indo english literature these two things are let us turn towards uh, another information just a minute Uh, let us talk about, about again the <coughs> poetess a friends she wrote in both english and french as i already told you the writer the poetess went abroad for the study as her parents were there in abroad in foreign and uh, that's why she learnt french language spanish language english language and that is why she uh, started to write her poetry in english and french language and uh, as far as not poetry but uh, there are two novels written by torudat they are this is the first one the young spanish maiden it is an unfinished novel and the next one is la general the uh, madam osail it is published posthumously a posthumously means something which is published posthumously is it means that after the death of the writer if something published if if if, if something comes out that is called posthumously posthumously means after death as i already told you she died at the age uh, at the young age of 21 years and torudat's death Uh, after after toru does this after the death of uh, the poet as her father discovered some ancient ballads written by herself so and they are they they were also published by her father by uh, the publisher posthumously again the the posthumously word is very important over here uh, this is about the poetess now let us talk about the poem the lotus is the title of the poem uh, poem and uh, as far as the title is concerned the lotus has the important uh, um, what you call the weightage in indian uh, culture the lotus is written in the form of a sonnet features a debate between dry factions or that of rose and the lily so there is a quarrel in, in between rose and lily you can see in the picture there are two uh flowers the first one is rose and second one is uh, lily so this two flowers has uh, the debate over who is the best one and uh, they compete for the title of undisputed queen of flowers everyone wants to be queen of the flowers even as love considered the merits of both flowers ultimately flora the queen of flowers grants the lotus with its with this owner now here uh, before learning poem we must know there are god and goddesses in mythology as far as greek mythology is concerned or indian mythology is also concerned we have also god and goddesses like ram lakshman sita vishnu brahma mahesh and uh, in greek mythology or in other countries they have their own uh god and goddesses so here as i already mentioned these two flowers debate over the title of undisputed queen uh, let us see what happens this is um, this is the stanza number 1 and uh, there is again stanza stanza 2 so both the stanza have 14 lines and if a poem written in 14 lines it's called a sonnet i, I already uh, taught in the uh, classroom that if a poem has 14 lines it it is considered sonnet there are two types of sonnet the first one is shakespearean sonnet and the another one is italian sonnet or petrarchan sonnet so let us see uh, if you count the line 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight lines are there in stanza number 1 it is called octave 
and there is again stanza 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are six lines in stanza 2 that is called sestet and as far as this uh, sestet is concerned or octave is concerned let me tell you about the uh, stanza the poem is written in petrarchan sonnet we, we we can call it uh, italian sonnet and the rhyming scheme of it petrarchan sonnet is a b b a a b b a c d c d c d this is all, this is uh, considered octave and sestet uh, first of all we will read the uh, poem let us read the poem love came to flora asking for a flower that would a flower be an indis uh, undisputed thing the lily and the rose long long had been rivals for the high honor bards of power have sung their claims the rose can never shower like the pale lily with her juno men but is the lily lovelier does between flower fractions rank the stripe in psyche's power Give me a flower of delicious as rose, and stately as the lily in her pride. But of what color, red rose? Rose red, love was choice than pride. No lily white, or both provide. And Flora gave the lotus rose red dyed, and lily white, friendliest flowers that blows. Now, friends, as far as I already told you, uh, before learning the poem, we should know about god and goddesses so the first goddesses is goddess is the love from the greek mythology the second one is flora love comes to flora and tells flora that let us uh, decide who is the queen of all the flower there is again another one uh, goddess named juno uh, juno is a, is actually a, a wife of jupiter and there is another one um, goddess is highlighted mentioned in the poem is psyche uh, here we can consider psyche and love both are uh, similar here now in our hindu mythology also we have goddess you can see on the screen there is a saraswati and uh, we have also God. You can see on the screen there is uh, Vishnu. So both are seated on a flower called lotus. That is the importance of lotus. Friends, here Torudat wants to show the importance of Hindu culture over foreign culture. Torudat wants to show the importance of Hindu mythology over uh, mythology of abroad whatever the importance is given by the Greek people by the foreign people to their own mythology here she wants to prove that Indian Indian mythology is also that strong and here that is why she considered Lot Lotus as the uh, queen of all the flower let us see let us uh, turn towards the stanza number one he, over here. Let me read. Let, let, let us go line by line. Love came to Flora asking for a flower. Now, the goddess love. Love is not actually a love. Love is the name of goddess here. And Flora is not actually the flora. Flora means what you call the flowers and all that green, green plants and all trees. But Flora is actually here the name of the goddess. So here, two or three names you have to consider as goddess. The first one is Flora, second one is uh, Love, next one is Juno, and the another one is Psyche. These four goddesses uh, have been mentioned in the poem by Torudat. Love came to Flora asking for a flower. Now the goddess Love came to Flora. Flora is also a name of goddess. And she asked the question that would be the flower that would of the flower be undisputed queen. Now she tells that let us let us decide a flower which would be the undisputed. Undisputed means nirvivar. Let us come to the Marathi for year. 
लव नावाची देवी जी आहे ती फ्लोरा नावाच्या देवीकडे येते आणि ती म्हणते की चला आता आपण एक फूल निवडू की जो सगळ्या फुलांची राणी म्हणून गणला जाईल निर्विवादता द लिली अँड द रोज लॉंग लॉंग हॅड बीन रायबल्स फॉर दी हाय ऑनर नाऊ ही आर रायबल इन एज फाईट दिस टू फ्लावर्स द फर्स्ट वन इज लिली अँड सेकंड वन इज रोज दे आर फायटिंग दे हॅव बीन फायटिंग सिन्स many days from the long ago they are fighting for this uh, what you call the title what is the title queen and whenever you get the title as the queen whenever you get the title as the higher superior it is high honor to to that particular flower that is why there is a there is a war in between lily and rose two flowers are fighting each other and uh, this is going on in between them bards of frau bards of power had sung their claims now here bards bard is actually a bird but here we could come to know that in english literature there were poets they are considered as bard like shakespeare like uh, william wordsworth like uh, john keats this romantic poets highlighted their own flowers for love some some of the poets highlighted rose is the best flower some poets uh, narrated in their poems as lily is the best flower and they considered is the uh, flower of love that, that is why these bards of power had claims claims according to their own uh, consideration the rose can never tower like uh, the pale lily with her juno mane so there is a uh, there is a flower some 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 poet says that uh, rose cannot uh, be towered like lily let us come to marathi bharpur ashe kavi ahet ki janni gulab pushp yala अव्वल दर्जा दिलेला आहे आणि काही लिली काहींनी लिली हा पुष्पाला म्हणजे तुला अव्वल दर्जा दिलेला आहे आणि काही लोक काही काही कवी असे म्हणतात की फूल जो आहे हा गुलाब जो आहे हा गुलाब लिली सारखा उंच जाऊ शकत नाही सरळ ताट प्राईडने अभिमानाने उभा राहू शकत नाही आणि काही लोकांचं म्हणणं असं सुद्धा आहे की लिली जो आहे तो गुलाब एवढा गुलाबा एवढा प्रेमळ नाही बिकॉज इन एवढी लव्ह सिच लव्ह सिच्युएशन वी गो विथ रोज फ्लावर अँड ऑल दॅट इट दॅट दॅट हॅज बीन कन्सिडर्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू ट्रॅडिशन सो द रोज कॅन नेवर टावर लाईक लिली पेल लिली विथ हर झुनो मॅन हियर झुनो इज ॲक्च्युली अ नेम ऑफ गॉडेस आय हॅव ऑलरेडी शोन यू द इमेज ऑफ झुनो but is the lily lovelier thus between the flower faction rank the strike in psyche's bower and every flower every flower is fighting in front of the god psyche as i already told you love and psyche can be considered one so let us imagine that there are two or three goddesses and in front of them there are flowers and they are fighting each other that i am the queen i am the king so let us turn towards uh, as i already mentioned this is the octave the first stanza is octave there are eight lines and they are considered octave and in uh, every sonnets we can call the william shakespeare has written the sonnet and uh, the though the uh, rhyming scheme is different there are the same uh, structure of the poem has been highlighted the first stanza of eight lines they, uh, that is called octave the second one is of six lines that is called sestet so here flower and power is rhymed tower and bower is rhymed queen and bean is rhymed and main and between is rhymed so the flower is considered a queen is b bean is b a so the rhyming scheme is a b b a the second one is again we can see this second one is also a b b a in the same way it is octave let us turn towards the next uh, stanza 
stanza number two over here. Stanza two has six lines, and if in a stanza there are six lines, it is, it is called sestet. Now let us start. Give me a flower of delicious as rose and stately as the lily in her pride. Now the uh, goddess love ask, bring me a flower which has both the qualities. It is very delicious, very lovely as rose. It should be pride, proudy like lily. So give me a flower which has both the qualities. As far as these two flowers are concerned, Rose is also fighting for that uh, high noble uh, honor and Lily is also fighting for the same. That is why love is considered, uh, love considered that, uh, love, love asks that the goddess love comes to uh, the coral and it says that give me a flower which has both the qualities but what the color what will be the color so the question is arise again what should be the color rose red love first chose then prayed no lily white or both provide now Again, there are questions. What will be color? Will it be like rose? Will it, by, will it be like red? Will it be like white as a lily? Or both provide? So, ultimately, the conclusion is give me a flower which, which should have the qualities of both the things. Then, prayed no lily white and both the provide so both qualities the quality of rose and the quality of lily have been assimilated in only one flower that is lotus friends this is actually a metaphor the poem is metaphorically considered that no east no west but Indian mythology is the best over all the mythologies because as far as color of red is concerned or color of white of lily is concerned the people from other countries or foreign they are white and as far as rose is concerned the reddish skin is concerned the people who go for the more work they are reddish and here Again, the culture is considered not uh, red, not uh, what you call lily, but the lotus has uh, superior power has been uh, shown in last two lines. Let us, let, let, us, let us learn about that. And Flora gave the lotus rose red dyed and lily white. Now here, see, these two lines are very important uh, from the poem. The first one is, the, and the Flora. Flora, whenever the question is asked by the goddess love, provide me a flower which should have both the qualities. Then goddess Flora comes. Let us come to Marathi. Jeva Prem Navaji hi ji devuta hai hi mante ki mala don flowers na kota. Ekas flower kutli tari phulanchi rani manun consider kele zaid. Tar mala roj madli quality and lily madhi quality. Asha donni quality asle la ek full dya. Tya vadis flora navachi devi hitu. Ti samar karte lotus. So here flora gave lotus rose red dyed and lily white. Means where the two qualities are there in a flower that is uh, red and white. The twentieth flower that blows and that flower blows like blooms like twin. So in this way the poem ends, as I already mentioned, this poem is not just for flowers, it is uh, with metaphors. Uh, too many metaphors have been used 
in the poem let uh, i already mentioned about the goddess goddess love goddess flora goddess juno and goddess psyche this uh, four goddesses have been mentioned in the poem and as far as lotus is concerned it important this this two images these two images uh, actually highlighting the um, importance of lotus in indian mythology in indian culture we see every god in indian and especially hindu mythology seated on lotus flower we also bring lotus in the festival called diwali it is considered that goddess lakshmi sits on lotus it is considered that god vishnu god brahma sits on lotus and it is highlighted the importance of hindu mythology the hindu culture and hindu culture is nothing but the indian culture basically so let us go for some of the comments on uh, the, this poem uh, the, the first comment is lotus is a flower of significant both to indian and the hindu religion we can call as i already mentioned and this poem is written in petrarchan sonnet a b b a a b b a c d c d c d c d and this is the octavian uh, sestet this two uh, uh, stanza scheme has been uh, have been uh, narrated that wanted to establish the superiority of uh, hindu religion over the other religion in re- religions in the world that is why she declines rose she declines lily and she claims lotus is the superior one and uh, the title queen is given to lotus the color of the flowers calls to mind the privileged position europeans gave the people based on their skin color as i already mentioned uh, europeans or basically uh, americans also they gave the important to their color of the skin as far as indian are concerned we are the mixture of both we are the mixture of uh, what we call white and black so our skin is brownish brown color we can call so brown is a symbol of here lotus we can call because in lotus there is a mixing of lily and rose as far as color is concerned lotus is a symbol of hindu faith indian culture and indian religion hindu religion basically not indian uh, religion the hindu religion is considered is symbolizes india and indian nationalism Uh, let's go for the another comment the lotus also indicates a fusion between east and the west and rose stand for eastern race the native india because of its reddish skin as i already mentioned reddish skin or brownish skin lily indicates western race because of its white color in all this manner lotus has given very important role and the poet as toru dart wants to exaggerate not the exaggerate want to highlight it or narrate the uh, supremacy of this particular flower that's why here uh, the poet is wants to uh, give more weightage to particular flower in this way we have uh, mentioned about the poet about the poem and all the manner have been completed over here let us see the poem in brief as i already told torudat is the first indian poetess who wrote in english language she uh, she converted into into christianity and uh, in uh, something 1862 she went to abroad in foreign and uh, started to learn english and french languages and started to write in that particular languages she is often referred 
as the kids of indo english literature you have to keep in mind that she is uh, considered kids of uh, indian literature we can call let us move for that too she died at the age of uh, 21 she wrote two novels the young phoenix maiden and lay journal the uh, mademoiselle it is published posthumously her father, father discovered some of the ancient ballads written by herself and published after that that has to be keep in mind so this two things are there very important and the next one is uh i already told you there is a quarrel in between rose and lily for the title of undisputed queen you have to keep in mind this is the uh, stanza in oct- there are eight lines the rhyming scheme is ab 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 this is stanza number 2 there are six line it is called sestet and the rhyming scheme is accordingly it's a greek mythology there are four goddesses which have been highlighted in the poem and in hindu mythology what is the uh, importance of lotus has been narrated through these pictures these are some of the comments i already told you what is the importance of the color in this particular poem toru that wants to give the privileged position to the flower lotus and ultimately she wants to show the importance of indian nationalism and indian culture over all the what you call uh, all the religions all the culture in this way the poem ends if you have any queries any questions you can uh, ask me in a comment box you can ask me in my personal whatsapp or in, in our group friends at the end of this evening there will be a test and you have to uh, solve the question asked in a test and i already mentioned your internal assessment marks which 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 are given 20 marks so out of 20 marks will be given to you on the basis of your performance on the test and your uh, what you call the uh, attendance in the lecture though you uh, visit the site or not and as early as possible download google classroom and join your class